around the NFL, uh, old heads come out and they, they aren't afraid to share their opinions on stuff. They feel like they've been bonded to these organizations and their opinion matters. And it does. It does. They definitely have uh, some good insight. But you look at uh, other quarterbacks around the NFL. You look at a Trey Lance. Uh, very undecided. Some people hate him. Some people love him. You look at Zach Wilson. Again, people hate him. People love him. Even Mac Jones, people are undecided on. Is he a glorified game manager? Is he the real deal? But one guy that I have seen that has had a unanimous outpouring of positivity towards has been Bears quarterback Justin Fields. It seems that everybody loves this guy, and there is a a, a good reason too as well but before I, you get into the latest uh outpouring of praise for fields uh, i want to ask all of the bears fans who is your favorite bears quarterback not justin fields who's your favorite non justin fields bears quarterback comment in the comments below and let us know but anyways nick what's the latest uh on fields yeah, so this is according to the Chicago Sun-Times. So former Bears quarterback Jay Cutler, he hasn't been in the NFL news for a while, uh, came out and said very positive things about Justin Fields, thinking he's going to be very successful, thinking he's the next big thing, and he's going to be the best quarterback in Chicago Bears history. I mean, obviously, very high praise for a guy who was a starting quarterback for the Chicago Bears and Cutler. And you mentioned it, the outpouring of support. We've seen teammates for the Bears come out and say unbelievable things. How about legends, other legends? Dick Butkus came out earlier this offseason. I know you and I talked about it, said a lot of great things about Justin Fields, thinks he's got a lot of potential. Obviously, everyone's excited with the new offensive staff coming in and, and the changes that's going to be made in the organization and the potential for Justin Fields. And I think one of the things you brought up those other quarterbacks, people forget, and you know, at least in my mind, Justin Fields was right behind Trevor Lawrence coming out of the NFL draft in terms of quarterback rankings last year. Big guy, 6'3", 225, great athlete, can make every throw, played big time college football, won a lot of games. Like he checks every single box and everyone is just coming out even since then with all this uh, support and believing he's going to be great. At a certain point, like there's been nothing negative about Justin Fields. Are, are people kind of missing the boat and how great he really is set up to be uh, in his NFL career? Yeah, no, I really do think so because you look at the Matt Nagy effect on quarterbacks. Uh, you had Mitchell Trubisky, who obviously his first year he had some success, but then he really got dragged down, uh, goes over to Buffalo, has a, a little uh, backup career resurgence, and now is in Pittsburgh, and there's very high praise about him. Uh, obviously, Justin Fields, I say that to say that Nagy really kind of brought Fields down last season, and now with this new coaching staff, new offensive-minded uh, coaches, I think that Fields has really been built up uh and it really had the light shine on him. They've obviously, uh, the receiving core um, is a little shaky, but I think there's some young guys, young talent that Fields can build with and grow with. And that's what I'm seeing out of this offensive side of the ball is a unit that is going to grow together. And you got to love that. I think all of these guys see that, you know, Fields has been through a numerous amount of like coaching changes, uh, often with coordinator changes. There's been a lot of uh, turbulence throughout his career in short career in Chicago. And uh, guys have said that that's tough. It's tough to play through things like that. And I think that uh, everybody's kind of rooting for him. And he seems to be like a good guy to root for. Well, I look at Fields and the thing that keeps jumping out at me when you hear all this positivity, his his character and his leadership has to just jump off the page when you meet this guy or play with this guy in his teammates cases. And I went back to his college career, obviously, his last year at, at Ohio State, he beat Clemson in the college football playoff semifinal. People forget he took a vicious shot in that game. He was you know hurt. I think he, he bruised or broke some ribs or something to that effect. Obviously, he was going to be a high draft pick. He could have sat out the game. He could have not put himself back in the game. He came into the game against Clemson, one of the more talented teams, if not the most talented team in the country, and lit them up. He had an amazing game. They ended up blowing Clemson out of the water, and they advanced to the national championship game. You know, that toughness, that leadership, I think that rubs off, and he's carried that with him in the NFL career and what he's done with the Bears. And I think everyone that's around him feels that energy, and I think you really need that kind of toughness and charisma. There's a couple of different ways in the quarterback position you can have that. You know, obviously different styles, different strokes for different folks, but obviously what Justin Fields is doing, it's working and it's bringing people together. And I really love what you talked about, that offense growing together, where it's whether it's Mooney or Komet or Velas Jones, the young rookie. 
I think that group is going to really kind of gel together, led by Justin Fields. I think we're going to see a kind of whole is greater than the sum of the parts effect with the Chicago Bears offense, and that's going to be led by Fields. All right, Nick, it's time to get your internet privacy back today on every device you own in any country you want. Don't let anyone but you control your internet. NordVPN keeps you safe from prying eyes wherever you go online with their military-grade encryption. Is your favorite Netflix or streaming content blocked in the U.S.? You can simply connect to one of the many countries available with NordVPN and get the access you need. That's right, Maya. So right now, get our exclusive NordVPN deal here at nordvpn.com slash SMI. It's risk-free, risk-free now with Nord's, NordVPN's 30-day money-back guarantee. Again, get that exclusive deal, nordvpn.com slash SMI.